Let's start with a bit of a briefing on color itself. The human visible light spectrum comprises just a very small portion of the overall electromagnetic spectrum, nestled somewhere between UV rays on one side and the infrared rays on the other. Now in the earlier part of last century, researchers began mapping out exactly what colors humans could discern, sampling a cross-section of gender and race to come up with an average, creating a representation of those colors and tones called lab color space. However, about 1 in 12 males and 1 in 250 females have some sort of color deficiency. Now that doesn't mean that they're actually color blind. Absolute color blindness is actually quite rare. But they have problems differentiating between two similar colors. For example, I have some trouble when it comes to certain shades of blue and purple as they approach one another. That doesn't mean that I'm color blind. I'm just merely color deficient in that area. The main point here is that not every person can discern the exact same set of colors. And as we'll discuss in depth here, neither can various input and output devices. And that's where color management really comes into play. Now you may remember from elementary school art class, or maybe a later photography class, discussions of primary and secondary colors. The primary colors include red, green, and blue and are often referred to as additive colors, as when you combine equal parts of all three hues, you get white when projected. Secondary colors, consisting of cyan, magenta, and yellow, are often referred to as subtractive colors, as when applied to a white medium equal parts, the combination moves towards black. Thus, colors must be subtracted to achieve white. Now, the most common language of color in the digital space is what's called 8-bit RGB color, in which each color is represented by 255 levels and tones of each of the three primary colors of red, green, and blue. Altogether, they represent about 16 million different color combinations, more than adequate for all but the most discerning of color professionals. Now, unfortunately, photographers often fall into the category of most discerning of color professionals. Sometimes devices can support 12, 14, or 16-bit color. Each of the step up in so-called bit depth represents more available levels and tones per channel and thus more variety in the hues and shades of color and greater accuracy in getting color data just right. But more on that later.